You should be warned, this is quite an operation. You might be a war criminal at home, but on U.S. soil, you're a customer and a friend, and we'll make damn sure you're treated that way. It can go from land to water and water to land. Disaster averted. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975 and before we continue in today's video I just want to say a huge thank you to Leilamatic for making this trailer with me. It's been absolutely fantastic to see what you can do with it and also to Lucifer Reap for helping me actually edit the um, original concept idea. So a huge shout out to both of those guys. But what you've just seen is the Aquatics and Other Antics fan made trailer for GT Online. It's kind of like a gun running smugglers run style update but with boats and like naval stuff. Uh, which I've been a big fan of for many years. I've made concepts in the past and we took one of my original concepts, edited it. And then we sent it off to Leilamatic and he helped us make a trailer for it. So what I want to do in this video is a bit of a trailer breakdown. And then in the next video I'm going to be doing a concept review. Which will go into detail about all the features that this DLC would have. So if you're interested in seeing that then make sure you subscribe to the channel. We are almost at 900 subs. We might already be by the time you're watching this. But let's just get straight into the trailer. So you've already just seen the trailer, but what I want to do is kind of do like a shot by shot kind of look into the trailer. So the first thing you can see here is, uh, well, the Vortex Hovercraft. Now this is going to be one of the new boats and I will discuss in my concept breakdown tomorrow. Um, all the new vehicles that will be added but this is one of the main new vehicles this is the vortex hovercraft from gta san andreas which i think a lot of people want in gta online so we try to get this into the trailer in the zancudo swamp kind of its natural habitat and then you can also see one of the other cool features which is this kind of like boat being loaded down into the water so you can basically um, customize your boats now this is one of the um, boat workshops so to say so then we go a little bit further through the trailer and we see um, I believe his name is agent 13 I think something like that um, basically the guy from gun running he's going to be leading us through this DLC as well um, we figured that he was probably the best person to lead us through it so, and we also get a look at the underside of the oil rig, which we'll get into in a minute, is the new um, DLC purchase, and this is kind of the little house that goes underneath it. So we'll scrub through a little bit more, and um, we basically got someone swimming through the sea, nothing too special here, but then we get a look at the uh, new oil rig, you can see here Globe Oil. So these oil rigs have popped up around San Andreas and you can go and buy one on the Maze Bank Foreclosures website and then you can customize it and stuff. I'll be going into more detail about that tomorrow so if you're interested to know that then uh, make sure you watch that video. Then we get a look at one of the other new vehicles and I say new but it is actually a returning vehicle from GTA 4 which is the Vapid Uranus, based on like a Fox body Mustang. Very, very nice car. Surprised they haven't added this one yet into GT Online, but it's a car I've wanted for a long time, and Lucifer agreed with me on that one, so we decided to just throw it in the DLC here. Then we go through a little bit further, and you can see one of the brand new um, beachside properties that you can purchase. 
So you can now purchase one of these uh, houses on the uh, the front of the beach. And then in the next slide here, you can see the interior of it. We've got this lovely, nice, like, fish tank, um, kind of keeping with the naval theme and the aquatic theme. So very, very nice. I like this interior a lot. We'll scrub through it a little bit more, and we get to see the outside of it. So we've got like a jacuzzi slash a pool area down here. Then we've got some little seating area and like a fire pit. Very similar to what you see outside in the casino. If you go to the rooftop sort of pool in the casino, it's very similar to that. And then we scrub through it a little bit more. And we get another look at the oil rig. So this is underneath the oil rig. And uh, this is kind of like this big glass living quarters so this is one of the upgrades you can buy for the oil rig is the living quarters and you get like a pool table a seating area and it's all underwater which is really really cool i like that and we scroll through to the next slide we get another look at two of the new vehicles the probably the main one that you'll notice straight away is the new vtol jet here this is the f35 um raptor and this is a VTOL aircraft. It has two jet engines. One in the middle here. This flap opens up. And the jet engine points downwards. And thrusts the vehicle off the ground. And then there's another jet engine at the back. And then this other vehicle. To the right here. You might have not seen this straight away. But this is a new vehicle as well. This is the Tornado Gasser. Uh, another vehicle I've wanted for a long time. So I thought let's just throw it into the DLC. So there we go, and then we'll go through it a bit more. We get another look at Agent 13, I believe his name is. Then we get a look at one of the new vehicles. This is a brand new boat. So it has this little seating area on the back. We can also carry some of our supplies from the resupply missions. So it works very similar to Smuggler's Run and um, Gun Running, where you'll go out and buy supplies bring them back to the oil rig and then you'll sell them and this is one of the new boats that you can actually purchase and customize boat customization would be added if this dlc came out then we get another look at the oil rig um living quarters here we've got a little bit of water down here we've got a nice glass bridge over the top and then you can see the sort of sleeping quarters here we've got a bed and some very nice looking living quarters in here and then we get a look at one of the new missions as well. So this boat has been, uh, well, it looks like it's been in a fire. It looks like it's destroyed here at the back end. And this would be an NPC driving this rig. This would be you here in one of the other new vehicles, the Rune Rolo. And you can see here, it is based off a Robin Reliant. Very, very cool little vehicle. Another vehicle I've wanted for a long time, so we threw that in the DLC. And then we get a better look at the oil rig sort of living quarters here. So this is the living quarters. We've got this sort of launch area at the bottom. And if I just scrub through a little bit more, you can see another one of the new vehicles. This is the amphibious car. So we get another amphibious car in this DLC. So we've got two of those lined up down here, which is very nice. And we get a look at the oil platform from afar. And you can see two Vortex hovercraft um, going to raid our oil rig. So these would be pirates, I guess. Um, that's a feature as well. If you don't buy the security upgrades, you can actually get raided by pirates. Similar to how the police will raid your biker MC businesses. And then you can see there's these like windmills floating out at sea now as well. So very, very nice. And then if we scrub through a little bit more, we get a look at the uh, another bit of the oil rig here. Not really sure what's happening in this scene, to be honest. Um, but we do get a look at one of the new weapons, which will be added, which is the flamethrower. So um, I know a lot of people have been wanting the flamethrower. It was in GTA San Andreas, so we decided to just put it in this DLC. And then we scrub through a bit more. We get a look at the top of the oil rig. And there is actually a helipad on the oil rig. So you can land your helicopter out here. And um, 
yeah, you can fly back to the mainland or go and pick up supplies, whatever you want. Then we get a look at the underside of the oil rig. This is what the underneath of the oil rig actually looks like. And you can see this is not a new vehicle, but this is uh, this was added in the Cayo Perico heist. It's the new submersible that you get inside the big submarine. Um, I really like this little shot, actually. It really shows you what's going to be underneath. Then we get a better look at that boat that we saw earlier with the supplies on the back. It looks very, very nice. It's quite a big boat and it has a nice seating area here so you can take all your friends with you. And then you get a little bit of a look at the sleeping quarters and you can see it's under the seat. It looks very, very, very nice. I like it. And a little bit more inside. And then we get a look at two new vehicles. So we've got a brand new boat here. And this plane, it does look very, very similar to the Dodo, but this is actually not the Dodo seaplane. Um, this is the Manatus uh, aeroplane that has got floats on it now. So it looks very similar to the Dodo, but it is actually a different plane. And um, there's a mod that allows you to add floats onto the bottom of this. So there'd be two seaplanes now, but this one would be customizable with flares and liveries and it would also have some gun upgrades, I imagine. And then the other thing that you see right here is another one of the new weapons and that is the railgun because I know a lot of people wanted that so we decided to put that in the DLC. And then we scrub through a little bit more. We've got GT Online, Aquatics and Other Antics, name of the DLC. And then at the end, we've got the idea was me and uh, Lucifer. And the video was made by Layla Matic. So I want to say again, a huge shout out to both of those guys for helping us make this possible. It really does mean a lot. And the trailer is absolutely fantastic. So thank you so much. And uh, if you want to tune in tomorrow, we're going to be doing a uh, DLC review. I'm going to be breaking down the uh, DLC into what is actually going to be inside of it so hope you can tune in for that hope you can help us get to 900 subs if we're not already there and I will see you all in the next one